Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Immortal Taoist. Yes, this is a Android phone game. It's an idle cultivation game and a game where a lot of people have uh, no information or are being misinformed or just don't know where to get the information. So let's get started. This is basically a tutorial for everybody playing the game. Yes, so as you can see, this is a new server by the way, it's been around for about 2-3 to three weeks, I'm gonna say 3, maybe a month, I'm not quite sure. Everybody kinda got a head start on me, I joined on this server f after it basically opened. Uh, everybody was like about a week into the server and as you, as you can see I am already ascended I have ascended in about a week something like that I, I, I don't actually know this this is gonna be a little bit of a long video by the way because this game actually has a lot of information you guys need if you wanna ascend fast so this whole point of the video is gonna be how to ascend as fast as possible Basically, that's 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 the whole point of the video. So uh, let me try to see Mortal Taoist. Um, let's see, in-game years converted to real time. We'll see now. A uh, hundred years in in a game in the game is one day in real life. All right, so uh. I ascended in 10 days. Yes. Because when I ascended, I had 1032 cultivation years. That's like almost 5 days ago. Oh, it is 5 days ago actually. It's, it's a little bit more than 5 days ago. Alright, so these are my stats. As you can see, my stats are uh, not all that high. But... For a server that's this new, I'm pretty much beating up everybody. Well, aside from the people that are uh, higher cultivation than me. <clears throat> As you can see, I am Nihility 7 right now. Yes, pre pretty much everything's been unlocked. Aside from, uh, let me actually go back to heaven. <clears throat> so, where is it at? There we go. So you need to be state of health immortal one to be able to use the meditation room in heaven at your own sect, which I have actually made. I only got one beast, but yeah, enough of that. So, what you want to do, right? This is what you want to do in the game. <clears throat> so. I'm just gonna make a new character on another server and uh, pretty much walk you step by step through the game. Alrighty then, so here we are. Now, let's make a new character. So you got a lot of choices, yes? I went with a civilian last time, which to be honest, I was uh, not expecting to ascend as a civilian in a thousand years, which is 10 days real life, yeah? But, it do be happening. This is the most balanced early. As you can see, basic attributes are all on 5. Then you got the the freaking ring, which uh, it does give you unique and special techniques and skills, which I found to be quite good. So the civilian class is uh, really decent, actually. Let's go on to the orphan. Now, <clears throat> you get spirit stones and pills from this. I don't really know how much, because I've not played orphan yet. Not since they added the class bonuses and such. You do got interesting basic attributes. So the, w the way these work is... Uh, 
you're gonna need a lot of strength, dexterity, uh, life essence is basically your damage. And uh, vital energy is your health. You're gonna be needing a lot of uh, strength, dexterity and life essence. So you can uh, actually beat up on Adventure 20, which is the hardest one, right before uh, the Ascension Gate. I don't really know what Fortune is, that might be your uh, Critical Strikes, but I'm not 100% sure on that one, so don't quote me. Absorption is for your uh, Key Array, which your Key Array is really fucking important, let me tell you that. Make sure you level that up. As soon as possible, by the way. But, uh... One thing I forgot to show you guys, when I ascended... My key array was only at level 32. And even right now, my key array is still only at like 48. So... As important as the key array is... And it's normally good to have that... At around level... 80 or 100 when you ascend. You can actually ascend pre-50. So keep that in mind. But. And I think I'm gonna get to that point a little bit later into the video when I actually show you how to... Well, not show you, but tell you, because I'm not gonna be going through this all the way up to ascension. I'm just gonna show you early game and then I'm gonna uh, talk you through the process, because... Uh, Making a video on Ascension itself would take, like, as much as it would take me to get there, <laughs> which is 10 days. That's the fastest I got it. And yes, I am a free-to-play player. This is a heavily pay-to-win game. If you've never played it, be warned. This is heavily pay-to-win. Alright. Let's move on to the farmer. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you. Perception and Absorption. Absorption affects your uh, key generating speed and Perception affects your cultivation speed. Which means the higher those numbers, the faster you will advance. Both in uh, key array levels and in uh, cultivation levels. And there we got the Farmer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this one. This seems to be the hardest one to actually be good on. I am another 100% sure on how much wood, iron and herbs you get. But I wouldn't advise you to be a farmer. Then you have the hunter, which I'm not really sure what special equipment you get. So, uh, <laughs> go with this one if you really feel lucky, because I'm not sure what items you get from this. But your absorption is pretty decent, your perception is gonna be garbage though early. So be warned. Scholar is, I think, the highest perception and the highest fortune. You also get techniques and manuals, which is pretty good. So from these, from these five classes, what I advice to go is either civilian uh maybe orphan but i'm not sure how much you get uh hunter but again i'm not really sure on what items you get but scholar and civilian seem to be the best choices right so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be going with a you know what Screw it. Let's go with the scholar this time. Last time I advanced while playing a civilian. This time I might as well just go with a farmer. I mean, uh, what's it called? A scholar. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna skip this because I don't really care. I don't think... These three choices matter all that much, I'ma be honest, but I'm not 100% sure. I normally went with the fox, because I just thought it was cute. I'ma pick senior brother Jing Chen, hopefully I didn't butcher his name. And yeah. There we go. So this is basically 
the game teaching you how to play right now. Alright, you just do the game's tutorial. Uh, this. Usually it's the first, but yeah, it do be changing, so keep that in mind. Click on that, you're gonna break through. This is basically gonna walk you through cultivating in the game. First thing you want to do is be sure to follow this, this right here, the realm, the realm rewards, the main storyline, right? This you want to follow to the T, because this is gonna give you a lot, a lot, a lot of rewards. This is your tutorial up to... I don't even know, I think it actually goes past Ascension even. It's it's not even a tutorial, it's just your main storyline, kinda. Then you got Discord, which I highly advise you join. But if you're watching this video, you probably won't need it anymore. But even then, make sure you actually click on it. Do that for rewards as well, uh, for uh, Facebook as well. It almost exited the game. Alright, you will be getting rewards for uh, both Facebook and Discord. So be sure to click on those up here. And then you got newbie events. This you get for completing Ascension. Which you got 14 days apparently. And this you get for playing for 30 minutes. For being online 30 minutes a day. You get this daily, I believe. Uh, for uh, 14 days apparently. <laughs> Alright. So, praise land. Uh, let's make sure we break through. We got... We got the Praise Land. Nobody's ascended over here yet. This is a new server. But what is the server 189? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, let me actually ask... Uh, I, I think I need... Oh, hold up. I may, I may actually need Soul Wandering, I forgot. Let's try to send a message. Yes, we do need Soul Wandering. So, you will be chat locked until Soul Wandering 1. Which is pretty far away. Now, you will need to upgrade these. So, what I'm gonna do is upgrade this to about level 10. And just wait. Now, we're opening up events. This is where you will be getting your achievement uh, rewards. Also, incentive ads. So you actually get to see how many ads this game has right here. <laughs> Let me see, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, there's a lot of ads, boys. Yep. And I highly advise you watch all of them. Also, bind your account. If you don't, there's a high risk you will lose uh, progress. Because uh, everything's gonna be stored locally on your phone instead of on the server, on your account. So, yeah, make sure you bind. The way you bind is you press here, which is on your character's face. Up top. And then you just bind account. Alright. So, dwelling. Spiritual mountain. This is one of the most important things in the game. This is teaching you how to do it. So, what you want to be doing here is... You want to level food first. But not too high. The reason I'm saying not too high is because you need wood more than food. Alright. Let's see, how much wood do I actually have right now? Uh, it's 2k. Um, 
let's actually get some servants. So, or uh, apprentices, if you will. Let's put them in. Make them work for us. I got 499. Alright, I, I, I do need one more. But the cost is a little bit high right now and you don't get access to ads right away. I think when you get access to ads, your uh, foundation or gold, something like that. Hmm, I'm not really sure. But you know what, might as well just play the game until we get there. So you guys actually get to see. This is your sect. You want to greet, you want to learn skills. You get two outer disciple skills early. Later down the line you will need to promote to inner disciple to even get one skill, I believe. Uh, actually, I'm not really sure. Right now I've only been up to, by the way, click on sect intelligence. These unlock depending on your cultivation level. Which means the higher your cultivation, the more you will unlock. See? So it, it actually told, tells you if you press on it. Your cultivation realm is too low. You cannot check the information. So normally what I would do here is... uh, <clears throat> Let's see now. Which sect am I in? Phoenix Pavilion. Okay. Uh... Let's, let's see the skills, alright. We got a water skill, which is actually pretty decent. But most of these skills are really, really bad. I would have loved to start in the Valley of Fallen Blossoms. Because you get three companions. Four, five, actually. You get five companions, which... You do need companions, because this game... Yes, you, you, you got companions. Also make sure you start up a sect quest as soon as possible because that's how you're gonna be advancing within the sect. So the higher your <coughs> your realm, the more contribution you will get, even though the actual contribution reward is garbage. Even at high freaking yeah, even at Immortal Emperor, you're still getting garbage contribution. So keep that in mind, it's gonna take quite a while to get that contribution. And you do need contribution because these skills... The skills you get here... You, you will want to spend your reputation to get even more sect skills. Because you only get access to 5 by default. I think I got like 20, 25 right now on the other account. But yeah, the, the higher the... Let me actually show you. This is your key array again. This is where you seal the skills that you actually have. And press sect skills real quick. This is actually where you see the sect skills total... Uh, what you call it? Uh, stats. Then down here you'll see your total stats gained from all your all of your skills plus i believe your spiritual root or a uh, key array then you got talisman soul and meridian which both of these you need to unlock and you will unlock them when you reach nascent soul which are extremely important by the way i believe you're only able to level up meridian after you reach nihility so you will be getting a blue jewel, kinda. It's like a blue ball. Looks kinda like a pill, but not really. And you'll only be leveling that up after Nascent Soul. But you do need Nihility, because uh, if you go at Exploration... Oh no, it's putting me straight into... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so, dungeon, Nihility 1. What is dungeon? What is adventure? What, what, are, what, are, what are all of these? Since we actually came here. So, world level. We have zero ascended on this server. If you click on ascending, ascension ranking, there's nothing. 
Yep. There's nobody. I, I might actually stick to the server. <laughs> Let me actually check before I... I... Installment Ascension? Brother, you're already Ascension 1 and you haven't ascended? Oh my god, my friend. What are you doing? Alright, so... um, Right. Adventure. Also fishing, by the way, which you want to be doing as fast as possible. And you get to unlock fishing at Soul Wandering Realm. Now... The way you do adventuring, right? You click on the name and you get put straight into one of these adventures. Now, you just press on this and you're just gonna move on screen. What you wanna do is beat up a couple of these because uh, some of these will give you equipment. But not these ordinary ones. No, no, no. You wanna come all the way to the corners. Yes. There's where the stronger opponents will be, and that's where good stuff gets uh, in your inventory. See? There you go. You got an item, straight up. Alright, then we go down. We evade. You don't want to fight every single NPC out here. No, that's for when you get to... Soul Realm. Uh, soul Wandering Realm, excuse me. And we beat these, you get some flowers. I'm not gonna be beating everybody because I don't really care right now. And then you get these, which are special events during your adventure. Some of these give you good items, good stuff. And then you advance. The, the yellow portal is what's advancing you, basically. So that's the finish line to one adventure. Now, you get 20 of these, right? All the way to the gate of heaven, which is up here. Yeah, you do actually have to click on it. So you press gate of heaven right here, up top, highlighted in yellow. You press on it and you will have a couple of choices. You will have array. Uh... Guided, and uh, body, flesh, ascension, something like that. Do not do body. Do not do body. So, I can't show you right now, but we just unlocked the new function. You unlock breathing. Alright, so let me show you breathing. So the way breathing works is you press on it, you hold it, and it charges a bar. Then you get 20 seconds each time, you get 3 breathings a day, and then you gotta follow this small thing that's gonna move up there. Alright? It's not all that hard, but it's not easy either, because that shit moves faster than you breathe. You just press on it, you hold. That's that bar's gonna fill up. You let it go, it's gonna you just try to follow that. Okay? Just try to follow that. <clears throat> follow that and be inside, is more specifically. This breathing thing is uh, something new, which This was not a thing back in the day, let me tell you that. I feel like right now the game is uh, much much easier than it used to be. I think my first account was on like server 30 something. I, I don't even remember. It's been so long. I've been playing this game for like, ooh, I don't even remember. Like five years, something like that. Maybe more. I don't know. I keep coming back to it for some reason. I don't know. I just, I just like these types of games and more specifically the mangas, the the freaking the cultivation mangas. Yes. Alright, so, what you want to do is you want to watch every single ad you get, but let me go back to exploration, you get destiny, you haven't met any yet, but uh, I'm gonna hop on the other account, uh, 
actually on the other server, which was on 87, I think? I don't even remember. There's so many. <laughs> come on, come on. <clears throat> Alright. So, exploration. Yes. You will need to get strong. You will need to get real strong, because Adventure 20, Mount of Immortals... Damn, that's hard, boys, let me tell you that. So... Let me start with world level, actually. The more people ascend, the... Easier ascension will be, basically, I believe. This, this world level thing is, is pretty new as well. We got world level 5 right now, which means the monsters are being suppressed by power of Tao, or Tao, rather. So their attributes are being reduced by 25%, which means it will get easier. The fastest you ascend, the faster you ascend, the harder it'll be. So if you join a new server, your world level is gonna be your world level is gonna be zero, which means the attributes of the monsters are gonna be at max, hundred percent, which means they're gonna be hard to kill. Mount of Immortals is gonna feel impossible when you get there, because the the stats jump from Origin Cave ni Adventure 19 to Adventure 20 Mount of Immortals is insane. It's like double. It's gonna be. It's gonna take you like three to five days to even get there. Then you got Soul Wandering, which you unlock at. Uh, I believe it's at Soul Wandering. <laughs> Soul Wandering Realm. Yes. You get this Gathering skill, which I do advise you use it. This will sell automatically. When you don't need equipment, you just. Take these and you will sell everything. It confirm. Then you click up here where it says Ensoulment skill in black. You click that and you can actually purchase it. I highly advise you purchase Ensoulment skill as soon as possible so you can enable Soul Wandering, which is basically your idle automatic adventuring. I can do it 63 times right now. You can drink Soul Forging Dew 40 times, which you get at the. Uh, where is it at? At Beast, I believe. Click Redeem. And there we go. This is your Soul Forging Dew. It costs uh, 15 Beast Nucleus, or whatever it's called. And you can drink 40 of these. This will give you one extra. Uh, Adventure through Soul Wandering each. That's 40 plus. Straight up. Now, the reason you want to do Soul Wandering is easy. It's free money and you get items. Plus, a lot of people been asking how do you get pills? How, how do you get pills though? So, the moment I started hearing, or uh, rather seeing, people asking about uh, pills, was uh, Ensoulment Realm, I believe? Yes, it was Ensoulment. So, Ensoulment Realm. When you get there, you're gonna start seeing a lack of pills. You normally get pills at Market, you get Foundation, Core, Gold Core. Soul Wandering, and that's about it right now. Then you get Nascent Soul at the second store stage, let me call it that. Second store level. And then you get nothing. Yes, you just get formulas. I highly advise you don't purchase these formulas, because you do need a lot of money in this game. A lot of Spirit Stones. And you barely get any, as you can see, I barely got 100, 120k. You need a lot. <clears throat> like a lot, a lot. 
may actually break through, show you. I got 79 leftover pills. I'm just gonna use all, because I don't care about them. I got 60, 65 extra. <laughs> and you, you need like... Early on, you don't need as many pills. But... You will see a heavy drop in your... What's it called? By the way, do not do body mortal flash. Do... Uh, Body. D don't cultivate your body early. The, the reason why is because it will slow down your cultivation because you're using your cultivation base for body refining instead of uh, overcoming tribulations. Which... Body refining, let me put it this way, you will only get one extra base that... You know what? It's only a thousand. Let me, let me show you once. Okay? That's it. <laughs> you get plus one extra base stats, and that's it. Do not do it. I know there are a lot of people that do body, but do not do body. Because it will slow down your efficiency, your, uh, your cultivation base gathering. Because you will not be ascending your soul, basically. Und understand what I'm saying? You're, you're gonna have to do body ascension, which is extremely hard. And it's not worth it. The reason you go soul cultivation, soul refining, overcoming your tribulations, is because you actually get extra efficiency, I believe. Like, you, you get more, you get faster at leveling up and such, so... Yeah, just don't do body. Hold on. Hold off on body refining until you're, uh, I wanna say, at least... At half immortal stage. Which is gonna take quite a while. Especially if you're doing body. If you're doing body, that's gonna be like almost unattainable. So don't do that. Um I'm I'm trying to try to remember where I left off. Ah, yes, Soul Wandering, yes. Okay, so you want to do these adventures. You want to get to Adventure 12, Mount Peace. Because, remember, I told you a lot of people were having trouble with Ensoulment pills. So, Mount 12, uh, Adventure 12, Mount Peace is where you get your Ensoulment pills. So just Soul Wander, Mount Peace. Click Soul Wandering, and... Uh, where is it at? Mount Peace. You should just do as much as possible and hit Wonder. That's about it. And you will receive your pills. It's actually pretty easy. You can actually do this. And in Soul. You will be wasting one time. But you can actually end Soul and stop automa automatic uh, adventuring. If you wanna not go there anymore but i do advise you actually make sure you want to go there when you start soul wandering so you don't waste the soul wandering adventure time and uh yeah that's about it for soul wandering just do it it's a free source of income basically all you got to do is spend uh what's it called uh i think it's 20k is it still 50? I don't really know. I do have this, by the way. I, I'm not sure why I can purchase it again. Oh, this is... If I get this, am I gonna get faster? I'm not even sure. Anyway. You, you might actually be able to purchase it multiple times. And you get faster at Soul Wandering. But uh, it's an idle game. You're probably gonna be like... AFK half the time or half the day, you know what I mean? Especially if you do this at night, you're just not, not gonna care. So just don't waste your money on that. Get it once, and that's about it. Then you got Fortune Land, which I highly advise you do because you get those pills. And uh, let me hit inventory real quick. Ooh, okay, hold up. Actually got some good equipment from my soul wandering in in God Godland basically. 
You get these pills which give you one extra stat per pill which you want to be using. You will get a lot of these pills during your cultivation. Let me actually use all of these because they're clumping up my inventory right now. This is your meridian pill by the way. The blue ball I told you about. You want these as much as possible. And talisman souls. Yes. This is your other thing. You can level up at the the, the key array. Let me see. Is there anything else I can use right now? Oh, by the way. You want silk caskets. As many as possible. Because you need three of these a day for a single... Uh, What's it called? For a single companion, there we go. Now, the way you get these companions is you befriend them either in a sect or uh, through time randomly. They will show up as uh, uh, random encounters. It's gonna be right here where your upgrade realm is, right above it. Now, let me actually show you how this works. So, let me see. Uh, there we go. I got, I got two more. Now you send a gift. You gain favor. Ten favor a gift. You get thirty favor a day. See what I mean? Just get as many gifts as possible because you're gonna need a lot of them. You're gonna need three gifts per companion each day. Means. You're gonna get a lot of gifts. You're gonna go and get a lot of those, because there's a lot of freaking companions. A lot of them. And some of these are sendable. You can take them with you at heaven. Do I got a... Do I got an extra one that's sendable so I can show you guys? Hmm. No, I don't. Alright. So be it. This is how you couple, and you get extra stuff. Now, if you read down here, it says, Attuned to feelings, occasionally send pills to your companion. And then you got Immortal Grace, which says, Coupling increases success rate of overcoming tribulations. Now, if you read everything on each one of them, each one of them has extra stuff, or uh, rather, other stuff. I highly advise you get companions that allow you to speed up your blacksmith and your uh, alchemy training. Just get, get companions that offer you increases of experience to alchemy and blacksmith. I'm gonna be honest, you probably want to avoid uh, companions that are jealous. Uh, I, I don't remember why, but I do have a reason. I, I don't remember right now why. I, I might actually remember later on, but... Yeah. Just try to get as many of these as possible, as many companions as possible. Some of these are sendable. Now, since I'm here, you get wine cellar, which you can brew three of these a day. Then you get uh, superior brewing. Yes, this you can brew three a day of superior and of normals. Superiors give you more stats. Just do as many of these as possible. Uh, actually, you get Immortal House, since I'm here, might as well show you. You plant seed, you fertilize it, you weed, and then you water. Now, the reason you want to do this is because at some point during the main storyline, it will tell you to befriend somebody. And the way you befriend somebody is you plant these, you wait... You get your fruits, 
which is gonna be apples, I believe. And then you gain four favor for an apple. Hold on. You press on somebody's name. And you apply for friend. Insufficient favor. You click over here where the flower is. I'm trying to highlight it for you guys. And then you send gifts. You need 300 favor. Which is a lot of apples. Yes. Now the reason you want to do this, again, is because at some point in the main story, it'll tell you befriend somebody. And it's gonna stall your progress if you don't have the fruits on hand. Now, you're gonna need 75 apples to befriend somebody. Okay? So just do that as early as possible, but make sure you have 5,000 spirit stones to, to waste, if you will. Oh, fortune land. Let me actually watch one of these ads, so I can show you. So you get a lot of ads in this game, by the way, and each and every single one of these ads are... Uh, 15 to 20 seconds plus. Yes. I think I rarely encounter the the 15 ones. Normally you never go there. <laughs> you will be straight up seeing 30 second ads all the time. But yeah, there is there is a 15 second one on occasion every now and then. But you want to watch all of these ads. All of these ads. The game has a lot of ads, a lot of rewards, and you want to watch all of the ads. Now, you click on start, and you see this. Now, I have actually done this today, so it costs me two spirit jades, which I'm not gonna use, but you will click on refine, right here, highlight it. And, uh, it's gonna jump. So my current spirit is pure spirit. Then you're, if you're lucky, you will be jumping and refining your spirit into a binary spirit, which is extra. You'll be getting extra on each. What you want is a chaos spirit, if possible, but that's almost never gonna happen, unless you're really fucking lucky. The reason you want a Chaos Spirit is because you get 50 of these pills each and you get a lot of cultivation base, so do this every day. That's about it. Now, you can actually rob people, but they th these guys have green spirits, so I'm not gonna rob them. I'm gonna I'm rob one of... Uh... Let me see if I can find the good one. Ooh, okay. So this guy. Dude's got a mask and some interesting clothes, which usually either means he spent money or he spent his spirit stones or he got lucky. But well, I'm gonna try to rob him. He's in Solomon too. He got one shot. Okay. There we go. You wanna do as much robbing as possible because you'll be getting the same treatment as your. Uh, what's it called? As your cultivation in Fortune Land, basically. So do as much robbing as possible. And make sure you actually cultivate your spirit. And then you got the beast. So, when you first start... I, I don't really know if you can actually select. Oh, I can. Okay, I didn't used to be able to select these. So, you will be having... One of these beasts pop on screen, and you're probably gonna get your ass whooped. Now, the reason that happens is because you're weak. <laughs> so just level up. Get skills from Market. Sutra's Hall. Get a bunch of these skills. Make sure you reset. Make sure you reset. Every day. 
and get all of these uh, 499 spirit cost books every day make sure you reset again and get every single one of them that you're missing while also trying to maintain your spirit spirit stones as high as possible now the reason you want to get these is because each one of these gives you extra stats for example this uh what's it called Enigma enigmatic thunder pieces 2 right the middle one i believe that one increases dexterity and each one of these books have one attribute which let's say that one's wood when you level up wood which i'm gonna do right now because i actually need to level up my wood <laughs> sorry that was a joke If you click on your skills, and let's see, where's, where's my wood skill at? Alright, the green one. Yes? It says wood. This is how you find out what attribute you want to be leveling up first. Because uh, each of these skills have an attribute attached to them. So the reason you want to be leveling up your attributes according to these books is because the more books you have in one attribute, the more power you will gain by leveling up that one attribute instead of another. Does that make sense to you guys? Well, it, sh it should. <laughs> and then you get uh, these books, which also have attributes, pretty much the same. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to level them up individually. Like say for example, I'm gonna level up this Sky Phoenix pieces, the middle one. It takes 20,000 key, which is a lot. But you upgrade, you gain extra. Now, I did that just because I wanted to show you guys, I normally would not. But as you can see, you actually have access to as many sect skills as you can buy. Because each of these takes... Uh, reputation and it takes quite a lot at my stage and that's kind of hard to get because the only ways you can get this i believe is uh, through ads if you get lucky through uh, i'm trying to find it there we go you get 20 in shop daily which is 100 reputation per pack but if you get all of these you're gonna be spending 20k spirit stones a day. And spirit stones are not that easy to get at this stage yet. The reason that is, is because your spiritual mountain is level 1 in spirit stone. Now the reason you don't want to be leveling up spirit stone and iron. Is they take a lot of food production to make. So the food cost is quite high. You're only outputting one food. Oops. You're only outputting one food per uh, apprentice. So you want food as high as possible, as early as possible, but be, sh be sure you actually level up wood as well. The reason I'm telling you to level up wood is because you need the wood. You need your wood because you want to actually level up your key array. Like as soon as possible. And you can see wood costs 2 food. Iron costs 4 but spirit stone gathering costs 10 food. You do not want to level that up. At all. You don't care about spirit stone gathering at all. Trust me. Then. Over here. You got your altar which is unlocked at golden immortal. You don't care about that right now. What you care about is the ads up here in the corner. Now you get your daily resources. Sure. We also get these. Which as you can see, you get a spirit jade. Yes, it's random, but sometimes you get five. Five out of five. Make sure you get these. I'm gonna get one right now. Now the reason you want to do this is because... I'm gonna be showing you guys... Oh, there we go. That's a... I believe that's a 10 to 15 second one. This is gonna be a quick ad. There we go. The reason you wanna get these is because at the market, 
if you click on Spirit Jade Hall, you got these books, right? We got Prajna Heavenly Book, Prajna Mantra, 8 Trigrams Heavenly Book, 8 Trigrams Mantra, which you can get them in, uh, let's see now, you got 8, if you click on top up, down here you get 8 Spirit Jades a day, guaranteed. But this is basically your your premium currency. In two days you're gonna get 16. Then you also have these ads up here. Which is right above Sutra's Hall. Next to Treasure Shop. You get these Nochi packs. Now you get 10 of these right here. Then you click on Dwelling again. You get these. That's 10 more Nochi packs. The, the scroll up here. I'm trying to highlight it for you guys so you can see it. That's 20 Nochi packs, which is gonna be quite some spirit, gen spirit Jade generation. Because some of these actually do give Spirit Jade. So from 20, let's say you get 2 Spirit Jades, right? At random. If you're unlucky, you're probably gonna get at least 1. I'm gonna be honest. So let's say you, you make 10 a day. But you're gonna be making like 12, 13 a day, because uh, because of this, because of your daily items. So make sure you actually get this, because a lot of people don't even know it's here. Because this is what you get when you click on it. A lot of people don't even check if there's daily items. This is almost at least one guaranteed each day. I had days when I got five, so make sure you, you get that. That's the reason I got 67 jades right now. Oh. You need 22 jades, which is gonna take like what? Uh, th th let's say 3 to 4 days. You wanna get these as fast as possible. Now, you wanna get the... This one. 8 Trigrams Heavenly Book. Because, yes, this down here is a key. The up row, the upper row is a perception, which is your cultivation efficiency, which is gonna level you up faster in cultivation realms. You need those. You need those if you want to advance properly. And I'm gonna need the 100 soul jade books, but I actually... I actually kind of spent my, my jades. Now, why did I spend my jades, you may wonder. You get access to study room, study room at some point. Now, this increases perception. I got auto-studying. So, the reason I got auto-studying is because at some point during the night or the day, you will stop learning, right? Because it takes, what, 10 years to level up a book? Level it up once? And I think you need like, uh, what, three to, f three to five levels on a book to, comp to comprehend it completely. You got a lot of books in this game. But the way you get these books is you buy them, basically. Or if you get lucky, you, you just get them. You're being uh, gifted, if I may. Now, the reason you want this is because this will make sure you keep enlightening at all times. And you do want to enlighten at all times because you need enlightenment level. And the first time you're going to be doing this, you're going to level this up quite rapidly. And you're going to stop around enlightenment level 3. Now, why am I telling you this? The reason I'm telling you this is because if we go back to Beast... See what I mean? It's all tied together. If you go back to Beast and you click on Redeem. Down here you get the books. Now, if you... If you watch these, and you, you will watch these, you will read the text. Down here. Like, all the way down. Scroll all the way down. 
it will tell you your realm or your enlightenment level that is needed to use the book. You need level and soulment 1 at least to be able to use these. And I'm trying to find one. Hold on. I'm trying to find one that's saying level 3, I believe, or is 5 the first bottleneck you're you're going to reach. And you're going to be like, "What am I doing now?" Yes, it's 5. All right, so this is your first level 5 book. You're in your first en enlightenment level 5 book. You're going to be stuck here for a while because you're you will not know what to do. Your enlightenment levels up really slow. So you want to make sure you get this. This costs uh, I don't remember. It's around it's around 50 soul jades. So just watch your ads and get this as soon as you get the required amount of soul jades. And uh, you saw me earlier, you just click on it, reserve book. And I'm just gonna click on it again and show you guys. So, enlightenment rewards, you get almost 500k cultivation base, that's a lot. And you get 4 enlightenment exp, or rather 2 and half of that actually, for the first book you get, which is Human Theory, I believe. I'm not sure if this is actually the first book you get in the game, but yeah. And then you get these books, which give you a lot. Like, this is 1.5 million cultivation base. It does take quite a lot more to comprehend, though. This, these early books, 4 years. These level 5 books, it just jumped to 10 years to comprehend. That's for one stage of the book, for one level. You do want those. This book system is what's boosting up your cultivation base by, 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 by a lot. Like you get, I get almost 7k. Sometimes I get more per 5 seconds. 1.5 million is a lot. That's saving you more than minutes. Especially if you get a bulk of these books. I jumped three realms. Uh, actually, let me go back. I don't want to show you have one. There's no, re no reason to right now. There's three realms I got from a, from a single book spam, if you will. And uh, we're going back to Beast. So... You want these. Beast Nucleus. Nu nucleus? Nucleus? Alright. And you will be getting these Beast True Pills, which you want to use, because you're going to be getting a lot of these during your cultivation. And that's a lot of cultivation base you will get for free, basically. Now, you can also get them here, but I highly advise you don't. What you really want here is Superior Booze, Soul Forging Dew. Um, you only need this in Heaven, so don't get it. And you might not, not even need it. I will, though. And Marrow Cleansing Dew. Now, the reason you will want Marrow Cleansing Dew is because at some point... Um, let me actually read it. So, at some point, you will be hitting your pill capacity. Like, your, your maximum in pills. So if you hit pills real quick on your character, I have taken almost no pills, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird, right? Kinda. You normally want to take these, but I do not have my alchemy leveled up. And I did not actually spend time on crafting the pills because I didn't have the resources. So the, the, the way you get your resources for the pills is through adventuring, by the way. So just soul wander and you will get your resources. So as I was saying, you wanna get these pills, you wanna eat 50 of these each 
And then, when you reach your maximum capacity, on preferably all of them, so you just max every single one of these pills, and when you've maxed these pills, you will be using your, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the name. Hold on. You'll be using your marrow cleansing dew. So you can get more pills, get stronger. Those will help. Now after Enlightenment level 5, your second cap, or uh, your, your second level you want to get to is 10, I believe. Which is what I'm trying to get right now. Yes, it's level 10. So after you get the level 5 books, you're gonna... You're gonna have a rough time if you don't have your... Uh, your auto-study. So just get your auto-study as soon as possible. Now, you unlock dungeons at Nihility. <coughs> I uh, kinda did mine, so I can't really show you right now. But... You enter these, and then you get uh, a lot of Meridian pills, some extra stat pills, and then some random wood or iron, some something like that. And then you get to fight a boss, and for, for each of these stages, you get puzzles. Now you want to be doing those puzzles, because that's where you will be getting the most, the, the majority of the Meridian pills. You get like 160 at some point, I think. I think you get 100 first, and you jump 10 Meridian pills extra for each stage you clear. I'm getting 160 right now. You're gonna be having like... 2k at some point, so just just click auto upgrade and just upgrade. But I don't have enough, so yeah. These you can get through Meridian chests as well. And you just click on these, just enhance. That easy, that simple. Now uh there is actually something. You get these if you really want to spend, though I highly advise you don't. You get treasure hunting. I got none. <laughs> you can get this early, but I advise you don't, because you need treasure maps. And I believe this is auto treasure hunting. So let me actually check if I if I do actually have a map. I don't. I, I kind of sold mine. Because I needed more space. I didn't really need the maps, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because I wasn't doing the adventuring manually anyway. What was this? Uh, Spirit Pack book, okay. So. You're gonna be getting treasure maps, which you will be doing adventuring for those. Because you can get extra Meridian Pills and Talismans. Where is it at? Uh, I don't think I have any right now, I just spent them all. Okay. So yeah, just do your treasure hunting. You will be getting extra stuff from that. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not a guaranteed Meridian Pill or a Talisman, but you will be getting those. Now, you get Ascension Pavilion as well. As you can see, I have Enlightened for 164 minutes and got 2.4k Juan Skills EXP. Which, if you click up here, I am right now Immortal Body level 1. Yes, you, you're getting extra percent bonuses for your stats. Which you will want to get. Um, eh, sure. So what you want to be doing here is, uh, you're, you'll need, if you want to create a book, or uh, a group, you will need these tokens. These are called Ascension Tokens. You need one of this to even start up a group. And, uh, those are pretty hard to get. 
you get two hours for each token. I mean three hours for each token. You get 14 EXP per second. And the maximum you can do is three tokens at a time, which means nine hours. These are pretty hard to get, so I advise you don't use them early. Because if I remember correctly, the higher your realm, the more EXP you will get. So just try not to waste them. I wasted them once because I wanted extra stats. So I can pass my uh, Adventure 20. You can do that if you got a lot of these. I got, I had 9 at some point, so I just wasted 3. But normally this is what you, what you want to do. Right? You just check. See if there's an open space. If there's no open space, you just check on them. Oh god damn, this boy stacked. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there are quite a lot of people that are heavily spending in this game. Now you just check the realms. If they are higher realm than you, don't do anything. If they are lower realm than you, then... Let's see if I can actually find one that's lower realm than I am. Yes, that's gonna be hard though. Um, wanna kick this guy? Uh, you know what? I don't know who he is. So I'm just gonna duel. So, the way this works is, the higher realm wins, it's that simple. Higher realm wins. <clears throat> you will be quick kicked quite a lot from these rooms. You get fifth, uh, you get a minute of protection time or some shit like that. The way you extend the time is you get one of these mirrors. Now I believe this is premium only. You will be getting 60 minutes of extra protection. But most of the time you probably won't be having that. So just do what I told you and you'll be getting a mail if you get kicked. Always check your mail, there may be good stuff. And if you get kicked, you will be locked. You will not be able to come back to enlightening for a little bit. For quite a bit, actually. I'm not sure if you're locked for minutes or for hours. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Alright. We'll see now. Treasure shop. These you will not be seeing until you ascend. But you do want to click on this gourd or whatever the fuck it's, it's called. Furnace or some shit. Vase? I don't even know. Just click on this. You get three a day, which is gonna give you extra spirit stones. You want to compete as soon as possible. You will be getting extra stuff. Let me, sh let me try to show you. Just hit one of these. Challenge. And let's see if we win. Uh, normally I just skip this, but I'm probably gonna lose this, by the way. Normally I just skip, because it's faster, it saves time. And you get these compete tokens, which I'm, I'm still not really sure what they give. Let me see. Okay, so you can get your soul forging due this way as well, and your marrow cleansing due. And your superior boost, you can get treasure thingies as well. Treasure maps. I have not used mine yet. I don't remember why. I may have been saving for something? Oh yeah, you can get your immor immortal beast eggs. But you need to be in top 10. So just do this as soon as possible. Yeah, so just do this as soon as possible. Because you can actually get a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of useful stuff. You can actually get your spirit stones through this as well. Which I never checked, but uh, do bear in mind you need 400 tokens for one spirit stone bag. Which you only get... You, you only get like 10 for a challenge, so I highly advise you don't get them. There's a lot of better stuff in there than the spirit stones. Yeah, I only have level 60 key array on this account. I'm gonna start leveling up right now. A little bit. There we go. So, at some point you get access to auto-leveling, which is gonna be somewhere around the screen. 
But uh, at some point that auto leveling gets removed, which is really freaking annoying. I hope they bring that back for uh, higher levels. So you don't have to actually sit in here and click every time because you're gonna be reaching your stored key cap quite fast if you get high output efficiency which I have 738 key every 5 seconds because I got the books I got quite a, quite a couple of books for, for key generation so yeah let's see what what else is there to, to show for uh, for newbies what else is there? Oh, by the way, as soon as you can get into an alliance, go there. Okay. So you can do affairs, but you will be needing resources. Now these other resources you get by using your own resources can be used for something. I just don't actually re remember what. Because I didn't use them yet. But then you have the skills. This is why you want to join an alliance as soon as possible. Yes. You got these skills. As soon as possible, join an alliance, level up. Absorption and perception as soon as you can. Level these up as soon as you can. Especially dexterity and life essence. Level up strength. Don't level up vital energy. And I'm going to show you in a little bit why. And then you get these, which are only unlocked at the alliance level 4, which you will need, but before you get those, make sure you level these up. Make sure you get these. Also, the servant stuff, you're gonna be needing the servant stuff, but it, it's at level 5. You will be needing these, all of these, in heaven. After you've ascended your companions, or you've gained other servants through other means, which if you do the... Uh, I don't have access to it anymore, but if you do your, your login events... You will... You know what, L let me actually... Which server? Uh, let's see now... I'm gonna try to go on a different server where I, I get access to something. So I can show you guys. I I'm not sure if I did all the, the events on this one. This is one of my older accounts, which I never actually played on. Uh, dang, I don't have access. Alright, I may have... that may have just passed. I'm not sure. Anyway. Just... You will see some events. Just do everything those events tell you. That's the point I'm trying to make. Like you got limited time events, right? That's gonna unlock a little bit later, I believe, for everybody. This is a new year event, by the way. What is this? Oh, I don't, I don't have these. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of money waste. That's a lot of money waste, and I'm not gonna do that. All right, so up here. You will have your login event and a bunch of other events. Just make sure you do everything you can. Because the faster you get them, the better. Because one of those... I believe it's the login event, but I'm not I'm not sure because I just did that like a few days ago. Uh, let me actually go back to Dwelling Fate and show you guys what I mean. So you will be getting Ling Air, which is a really strong companion for your early ascension days. The reason that is, is because if you go, if I go at servants, I'm, I'm gonna show you now. So, Fairy Ziksha was my first ascended companion. She's got 26 talent right now. She used to have 24, but I leveled her. I leveled her up a little bit, and then Ling Air has. 64 right now now i believe she had like 30 default or something like that so that's really freaking high compared to the others try to not level up the purple and blue ones just get the yellows 
These are like legendaries or some shit. You need to level them up, by the way. But uh, that's for another time. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for Heaven. I am not that good in Heaven right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but Heaven is really competitive and it's mostly for pay to win players. Also, if you're really strong, you you might have a chance in there. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that bad in Heaven right now. Uh, let me actually see. Hmm, let me check. Ooh, I, I'm gonna have to post in chat real quick. Just a dot. So I can check my name card. There we go. So, Immortal Force ranking 237. Realm ranking 270. I've ascended number 217. Yes. You know what? Top 300. Let's go, baby. As a free-to-play player, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I haven't spent a single dime on this game. Let's go. Also, heaven position. Uh, I believe you get free salary each day. Uh, if you hit l time limited budget, you'll be getting one of these packs, one of those, one of these limited offers. This limited daily purchases, actually. You get one of these a day. Get that. You get one of these weekly limited purchases. And you get one monthly as well. They are all free. Just make sure you don't hit one of these that are not free. <laughs> that's gonna be... That's gonna be a lot of money. Just randomly wasted for no reason. <clears throat> now... At some point, you want to greet this guy when you, uh, when your daily resets, which right now I'm not really sure when that is. But let me promote first. Uh, I think inherited. There we go. You want to get these, which is your sect contribution token. You get three of these here. You get one through greeting, and. Uh, that makes up a total of 700 sec contrib uh, yeah, 700 sec contribution a day through ads. So we're gonna sit through this 30 second ad while I explain. You do need a lot of sec contribution because the sec contribution you get is limited by your realm. Also, it's pretty much really, really slow to get. I know I'm jumping back and forth. And this is a really long video, I'm rambling quite a lot, but there's a lot of shit to explain in this game. And a lot of people don't really know... Uh, how do I say it? Don't know what's good, what to get, what not to get, you know what I mean? If you don't have time to watch ads, watch these. Uh, just get the Nochi packs and the Soul Jades. That's pretty much all you need. But make, try to make sure you get all the Nochi packs. Because you're, you're gonna be missing like 10 packs if you only get the market ones. So yeah. The more ads you watch, the stronger you will become, basically. You get like 40 fucking ads a day. Or something like that. 40 to 50 ads a day. I think you get more in Havon, if I remember correctly. But, yeah. Anyway. Hmm. Let's see, did I miss anything? Um... I'm trying to... See, gift pack market? There we go, we've been there. I've been over... So destinies, you, you get destinies by doing your adventuring. By soul wandering as well. Do that. Fishing. Now you get access to two fishing attempts a day. At first you will only have access to Saint Cloud River. You click on that, you pay the money, you will be 
find like 5k spirit stones or 2.5k for this one I believe and this one is for uh, ascended players only I think at least I, I don't actually remember but I do believe this is for ascended only anyway you need to be at least like nihility You got your Krill, which is your fishing inventory. This is separate from your normal inventory, by the way. And you get your exchange. Now, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of fishes. Fishing is random. So, oh, there we go. Let me actually, oh, I got a... Hmm. Hmm. Well. There we go. Been trying to avoid not using non copyrighted music. Hopefully, the other music. Um, I might actually have to do some editing there. But yeah. It's about 40 minutes into the video. I don't even know, man. Anyway. Here's hoping that doesn't affect the video too much. Alright, so we got a lot of stuff here, a lot of fishes. You just hit auto exchange. Every time you see fish. That's about it. Now if you get lucky, you get one of these fishes. And there's another, but I already claimed that one. Which each of these fishes give you a better fishing rod. Now you want these fishing rods. Unfortunately, I only claimed the really small chance double fishing rod which gives you a really small chance to get a double fish which means two fishes on one one uh oh what's it called i'm not good with fishing so it's 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 two for one yeah you get six chances to fish and you get two attempts a day so that's 12 chances to fish if you're lucky you get uh 24 fishes if you're really lucky if you get double double but nah that's not gonna happen so yeah the small chance is really small and you're basically gonna be getting like eight to nine fish if you're lucky that's pretty much what i've been getting and you get one add up here below help which i suggest you take because it's a free it's basically a free ticket to not having to sit there and fish yourself so one of your attempts is going to be used by the ad now you're going to be getting an, ins an inspector token you get three inspector tokens actually early on which gives you an extra attempt at fishing which means more fish more loot more chances at those better fishing rods the faster you get your your double hook fishing rod is gonna be the faster you get it the the better it's gonna be so keep this in mind again do not body cultivate do not body refine do not do body ascension um unless you really have to don't do body array i mean uh don't do Ascension Array, when you actually go past Adventure 20. Do not do the Array. The Array is really hard. You need like double your stats when you finish Mount of Immortals, which is Adventure 20. Try to go for a, a Guided Ascension. Now, the reason I'm saying Guided Ascension is because... Uh, uh, by the way, if this is a new server, you will be having trouble with Guided Ascension, because if, if almost nobody ascended yet... Uh, the one person that has ascended, if there's only one, is gonna have a rough time trying to ascend you guys. Because the people that are in heaven, the players that have ascended, are the players that actually help you with your guided ascension. So they're, they send down the spirit beast. And the spirit beast is gonna be the one that's ascending you basically. Or something like that. And I think you can only do it once a day or something like that. So at some point we had a queue of 
25 people on our server. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, you also have... Uh, I don't have access to it anymore. So I'm gonna try to find it on another server. Let me try to hit this one. I believe it's called Immortal Seeking. Let's see. There we go. Immortal Seeking. And I can actually do it. So you can hit these. Go for a fast path to ascension. And that's what I've been doing all the time. Now, if when you come back... The second day, I believe. Or uh, if you get lucky, when somebody gives you something. Because the people from Heaven are the ones giving you your stuff in here at Immortal Seeking. When you get lucky, you get good stuff. At some point I got given key and uh, cultivation books, which are really good. They helped me quite a lot. They sped up my process quite a lot as well. I also got a really good sword for uh, the realm I was at right then. So that also boosted my stats quite a lot at that point. Which again, this, everything I'm telling you will help towards your ascension. Which I, I, I strongly suggest you, you don't skip through the video. Because <laughs> basically you need everything I'm telling you to get there. Everything. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> back to installment realm. Adventure 12. Installment pills. Yes? There's a lot of people that have been asking, how do I get installment pills in chat? Just do Adventure 12. Soul Wander in there, you'll get your pills. And these other adventures have the higher realm pills as well. Just do those. Don't craft them. Don't waste your resources crafting your... Uh, what's it called? Your, your pills for your... Cultivation, just get pills for... Uh... Also, you need to buy something to get access to these attributes, I don't remember what. But make sure you get that at some point, because you're gonna need to know how much stats you have. And the reason I told you not to get health, by the way. See how much health I got? I didn't level health at all, I just got this through skills. So... Yeah, that's 340k health. Just don't get more. It, there's no reason. You need attack, defense, and evasion. So that's life essence, strength, and dexterity. Just level those up as fast as possible. And make sure one of your... Like, the, the second you can leave your first sect, you go to Afterglow Palace. Because this is something a lot of people don't know about. Go to sect, you leave this sect, you just hit quit, you will be losing some uh, reputation and all of your, culti your sect contribution. And you come here to your junior rank sect and the uh, Afterglow Palace, you get, you get this skill called Khan Water Roar, which is four times your strength bonus. This is the really... Just the really only necessary skill you need to get. And if you wanna, you can get this as well. This will help your cultivation efficiency. It will help you cultivate faster. This will help you get your key faster. So just scroll through the junior rank sects, but I say you get this first. This is the most important skill in the game at early ranks. And before ascension. Before... I want to say before the next type of sects, which I have not unlocked yet. We are at Mystic rank. And even Mystics, they're garbage. Like, this is 2-2. Two, two. This is garbage. 3 Vital Energy. 2, two times Strength. These are garbage. 3 times Dexterity. Uh, that's decent, but... Yeah. 
Get Khan Water Roar. That's your best bet at finishing Adventure 20 and, at, and ascending. There's no other stronger skill. And it's easy to get as well. Just make sure you quit your first sect as soon as you get to your uh, retinue rank. You do not need your ultimate. It's garbage. You will be you will be quitting because getting to custodian rank takes 5,000 contribution, which is a lot of time. It's almost triple the contribution you need for retinue. So just leave your sect. Join another sect. Join junior rank sect. Get Afterglow Palace. Get to Afterglow Palace and just level your sect contribution. Get to Custodian, which is your 5000 mark. Your 5000 contribution mark. You will be needing 500, 1000, 2000, that's 3500, 8500. At You'll be needing 8,500 contribution to get to Custodian in Afterglow Sect. The reason you want to go back there, again, is to get Khan Water Roar. So if you have trouble with Ascension and you have not gained the Khan Water Roar skill, go there. Make sure you actually equip it at Ultimate at your character screen. Click on Use. So make sure you actually equip it. Otherwise, it's gonna be useless. It's not gonna be doing anything. This is not a passive unless you actually activate it. So, yeah, just don't get extra ultimates. They're useless. I know I got them, but they are useless. I, I completely forgot you can actually skip Custodian when I first started this game, because I haven't played in like three years. And I just came back to it again. So, yes. I'm gonna make a mark in, in, the, in the video, a timestamp, and this is where the timestamp is gonna be. What I'm gonna tell you here is this, short, for short, if you, you didn't have the time to watch this entire freaking video, because I know it's really long, but this is the, this is essentially what you need to do. So for fast ascension. After Glow Palace, as soon as possible. Sects, leave your current sect, go to After Glow Palace, get Khan Water Roar. Make sure you do your dwelling, your spiritual mountain, upgrade your wood, your food as high as possible. Start upgrading iron when you reached a comfortable production rate on your food, while also maintaining high wood production. Level up your Kia rate to at least like level 35, I want to say. Get all your books from the Sutras Hall. Refresh, get all your books again. Make sure you get every single one of them each day. Don't go upstairs unless you really got the money. And just get these books as well. Refresh if you haven't. And make sure you get these books. Oh, these books and these books again. Uh, let's see. Make sure you level up your skills to at least level 4. Level up these as high as possible. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just get your extra stuff from the events. Get your pills, your... Your other pills from your adventuring. Use them. They're gonna be... Pills that help you, these pills, anti-human, anti-monster, anti-dragon, by the, by the way, for Adventure 20 you need anti-dragon pills. Get those, you can actually get, uh, where are they at? <clears throat> you can get these uh, formulas to make pills as well. You can get those at Alliance, I believe. Make sure you build at the Alliance and get these each day. Level up your alliance skills, again, you need these, 
fast as possible. And uh, just read your ads. That's pretty much the entire guide summed up in like a minute or two, maybe three. Again, if you enjoyed the video, if you want me to do more tutorials like this, or if you would like me to stream the game from zero to hero, literally from zero to fucking ascended, let me know, I might just do that someday. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.